If you have never been to the Middle East before, if you have been everywhere else, but are not this year, <laughs> you need to watch this video because I'm gonna unpack lots of information for you, what to do, what not to do, and uh, you to get the experience and the most fun possible. But before we start, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. If you are preparing your suitcase, what to wear, and if Qatar here is like Dubai. I have come across uh, two YouTube videos and I have found some people saying that they tell females to cover up and uh, send them home if they don't like their outfits. I reassure you that that didn't happen unless bring something very revealing and disrespectful or very disturbing to the people around you. Uh, you have to understand that um, when it comes to the Middle East, it is very family-oriented, conservative culture. So you have to be mindful and respectful. Simply because people here believe that the way you dress affects their culture and uh, traditions. So it's whether you respect them or you don't respect them. It might come from a very innocent heart because you don't know. But now you know because you're watching my video. Wear anything you want. Depends where you're going. So you can wear your bikini if you're going to uh, a beach. You can wear shorts. Uh, depends exactly where you're going. Uh, if you're going to a mall, no problem at all, you can wear your shorts, but not too shorts that they will expose your butt cheeks. That is not very lovely to walk around with. Okay, so if you are a mom, what can you bring with you? Think about um, maxi dresses with some side slits, uh, t-shirts, light colors so we are talking about laid-back look um, very cool and relaxed what if you are a breastfeeding mom uh, almost everywhere is uh, providing changing rooms so that you can go and um, have some privacy uh, if you don't want to do that that I'm talking about malls so in case you're in a public area or in re a restaurant or a coffee shop uh, you still can breastfeed your baby uh, providing that you cover yourself because we are talking about some decency for you and uh, respecting the others around what can you dress your baby you don't have to bring any jackets or any coats or um, any heavy clothes because as i said before it is summer weather here it's not like a tourist my love <laughs> it's between 25 uh, till 30 degrees so it is considered hot and you don't need any jackets don't try to pack so much because you have so many options around you can shop you can have some souvenirs uh, from very branded to affordable prices Qatar in Doha almost uh, over 15 mall so those malls have from a very high-end brands to the street fashion so even if you are planning to come and do some shopping you have variety of options around So you don't really have to cover your hair, your face, your legs, your shoulders. You can wear whatever you want, providing that you uh, respect the boundaries, that they are not very exposing, not very revealing, not very disrespectful. Uh, to go to some holy places, then they give you some outfits to be more decent in those places. That was the video of today. Uh, we hope you like it. See you next week.
Ciao for now. Love you all. So we are talking about laid back look, relaxing and um, just the, just a fresh look. So um, <laughs> what I just did here, I don't know. Right? Some long abayas so that you can your shoulders. And um, not very going with a bunch of your friends. Um, we will be uh, uh, going on um, through the World Cup days. But uh, this is about um, fashion style, uh, yet relaxed and uh, very cool. Uh, we are talking about uh, what? It's air conditioning. It's air conditioned. There's air conditioner. Conditioner. AC around. Qatar. Qatar. Help me grow. <laughs>